I'm Brian Ellis, and welcome to the creative formula for the bass guitar. It's great to be coming into your homes today, and I'm proud to announce my Reflection Series. This is my third installment of my Reflection Series. In this program, I take a minute to look back on some of the videos that aired throughout the year, and also to take this special time and opportunity to thank all my viewers for logging on to my website, cityscopepresents.com, the future of bass improvisation. At this time, I'm going to look at some videos that was categorized as some profound videos for my bass students and for bass players all over Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Staten Island, and even as far as Virginia, Texas, and California. So as I go into this program, um, there's going to be some highlights. And if you like some of the um, programs and want to see more or see the full program that aired, please feel free to log on to cityscopepresents.com and also you can feel free to email me at bassbrother79 at aol.com well thank you so much and let's go into the, um, today's program um, first up we're going to look at a program on the D minor scale and in this program I took the time to explain the, um, the, the powers of D minor in its relationship to F major. So let's take a look at it. Also help um, younger students and some intermediate students also get acquainted with their solo skills. Now, the first thing I like to do, I like to take my D minor scale, right, and I like to open it up as much as possible. So today I'm on the four string bass, and I'm going to start on um, my A string, and I'm going to start on D on the fifth fret of the A string. And I'm just going to go over the, 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 the scale and try to get it under my belt. So let's call out a few notes. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. down the neck, D, C, B flat, open A, G, F, open E, D. Then I go up again, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. Then I proceed up the neck, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, high D. Then I go down the neck in a linear fashion, D, C, B flat, A, G, F, E, D. Then D, C, B flat, A, G, F, E, D. Now I start to put it together. And I have that skip right there. I spread it on on um. Uh, I spread my first finger. I have my second finger. 
and my third finger to get that spread. So that's D, C, B flat, A, G. And I cross it F, right? And then I use a maneuver where I go F, A, G, then E, F, G, A, then A, B flat, C, G, C again. take my D from the 12th fret of my D string and I start to mirror the D scale together so I would have D I have D E F G A then I mirror it with my D take advantage of um, the basic technique where I would use for my minor I would use a pattern one three four one three four one three then descending I would go three one Four three one four three one again and I hold that pattern for my D minor pure form. Get right into it. 
Um, the first thing that I usually do when I'm doing shout music in the church, I usually set myself up. I usually be cat a corner with the organ on one side and my drummer on the other side, and I'm right in the middle, and I have this per peripheral vision where I can watch the organ's bass foot, his bass pedal, and watch my drummer's bass foot to keep, to keep up. When the, when the organ goes up, the bass goes up. When, when the bass go down and the organ go down, the bass goes with the bass foot. So what I usually do, I usually take a flat key. I'm usually in A flat, and I call out the notes. I say A flat, C, D flat, D natural, E flat, F, G flat, G, A flat. Then my A flat, I couple it right over to my C. D flat again, D, E flat. Then from this E flat, I go to my low F, F, G flat, G, A flat. Then I turn it around where I switch my pinky and go, a flat, B flat, B natural, C, D flat, F, G flat, G, A flat, and I start to expand it. So let's 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 see how it sounds. Everything is going very, very well. I'd like to take a look at a program called um, the B flat scale advance. Now in this scale, I was using my five string bass and I displayed runs in my etudes in a major to get the players familiar with their major scale and how to be creative and how to extract skills and song patterns from inside E flat. And I call it advanced because I wanted to shoot high and then sweep low and get everybody involved that was located or had um, a knowledge or interest to play the bass that was um, located right in between the scope or the spectrum. So let's take a look and go into that program and see what we can do, how it looks. 
Today we're going to take some time to look at the B flat major scale. Now because of time restraints, I'm going to look at the B flat major scale and also I'm going to fuse the F mixolydian and also I'm going to touch on uh, the A diminished scale or A locrian in relationship to the B flat major. Also, and if time allows us, we'll take some time to look at the relationships between B flat major and its parallel minor, B flat minor. So with all that said, we have a lot of work to get done. So let's get started right away. Let's see if we can warm up a little bit. call out a couple notes. I'm going to start on the B flat on the E string. So let's see what we have. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat. Then I make a maneuver B flat, C, D, E flat, F, then I make a maneuver, G, A, B flat. Now when I come down as descending, I take B flat, A, G, F, E flat, D, C, and B flat. And on the five string, I'm going to proceed going down, descending as so, as B flat, A, G, F, E flat. Then B flat again. Then I go down B flat, A, G, then F on the low B, then E flat, then D, then C, then B flat. So let's see what we have. What I like to do, I like to run my E2 against that. Take it in a linear fashion. I take it in a linear fashion and I run up and down the neck almost on one string connecting B flat to B flat. I divide it, 
I will take B flat and I'll go to the third and I'm and I'll play my triad, which is B flat, D, F, and then I double it, B flat, D, F. At, at this time, I would like to look at a segment on slap bass. It was um, my slap bass program, and I had a great response when it aired on YouTube under um, slap bass program highlights. So if you wanted to look that up, you can go to YouTube under City Scope Presents and see the whole program. And also you can log on to cityscopepresents.com. In the slap bass program, I took a special opportunity to really get connected with um, my players that was so involved in trying to learn how to slap the bass. And it was almost a forgotten art, but still so many bass players, once they get, and, um, get their bass, the first thing they want to learn how to do is learn how to slap, thump, and pop. So I took the time to do a little slapping, popping, and plucking for the program. So let's take a look at it. Natural intonation of the bass with the high T going right across. Another pattern that I like to use a lot is a, is a disco pattern on A. a good thumping sound you get like a pulse you start that pulse and the thumb is 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 keeping the pulse and your first finger your index is plucking and popping So that's the A minor pattern to help you get that that disco pattern, which which is very exclusive when it comes to slapping and pumping, um, slapping and popping. like to take a look at some of the fingering techniques, the techniques. that's involved with uh, slapping and popping and one of them is the cross patterns And you slide right in. You slide right into your note. E to D, then also D to E. Now I like to take a look at a, a program that was called the Bass Empowerment Series. This was the start, it aired earlier in the year, and it started a series where I got a chance to get involved with some of the bass players that was going through trials and tribulations, learning how to solo, learning how to practice, learning how to manage their time, learning how to um, apply riffs and not be um, overbearing inside an ensemble environment. And then in the bass empowerment series, 
Um, there was some great um, scale to clean movements where I went in and out of the scale and the response was overwhelming. I mean, the emails just went off the chart and my Google Analytics went off the chart. The next day, everybody was going to the website trying to learn and trying to apply these skills to their arsenal. So let's take a look at it. It's great. So automatically, I have um, the flat block form here on the sixth degree or the um, sixth fret of the um, E string and also B flat block form on the 13th fret of the A string. So basically, with this B flat major pattern, I start to open up the scale degrees inside the scale, and I start to extract different runs, different melodies, and different launching points to expand the um the B flat tonality. 